Hello viewers, welcome to my channel KK Concepts of Electrical Engineering. Magnetic field intensity and flux density at a point of axis of a solenoid of infinite length. Let us consider a solenoid of infinite length having a radius of R and the current flowing through it. Let it be I and consider a point P on the axis at a distance x from a differential element dx then the length between these two is x the angle which is making from the point P is let this be theta then this will be pi minus theta so we need to find out the field intensity and flux density at the point P so number of turns elementary length is given by n dx we have already derived the formula for h in the previous videos h equals to i r square divided by amperes meter in magnitude and the direction of the h is given by right hand screw rule now this is the case of one circular loop but we have n dx so substitute then we are going to get i r square divided by 2 r square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 to n dx for our problem now from the figure cot pi minus theta equals to x by r then x equals to minus r cot theta differentiating on both sides we are going to get dx equals to r Cosecant square theta d theta r square plus x square equals to r square plus r cot theta whole square taking r square common 1 plus cot square theta which equals to r square cosecant square theta now substitute these values in the above formula we are going to get h equals to i r square n and dx value is r cosecant square theta d theta divided by 2 into r square plus x square is nothing but r square cosecant square theta whole to the power of 3 by 2. So square square gets cancelled 3 times of r will remain 3 times so r into r square. Now question square theta square gets cancelled three times so question gets cancelled then you are going to get i n d theta divided by 2 question theta i n by 2 sin theta d this is a dh Since the solenoid is in finite length, the field intensity at point P is obtained by integrating this between theta equal to 0 to pi. So theta can vary from 0 to 180 degrees which equals to integral dh theta 0 to pi that equals to integral 0 to pi i n by 2 sin theta d theta then i n by 2 sin theta is cos theta negative within the limit 0 to pi then if you substitute this so you are going to get i n therefore h equals to and I ampere turns per meter field intensity. Now the magnetic flux B is given by mu H that equals to mu and I. It is Weber per meter square in magnitude. 
If you have any suggestions and queries, please mention in the comments. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching the video. Please stay tuned for more videos.